Archie Costume is a legendary hero, nature element, druid class and comes from the Springvale family, where this family provides an additional bonus in the form of an attack buff. Archie Costume has Aether Power, namely a special boost, where the special skill deals an additional plus 30% damage for 6 turns. Then, looking at the basic stats, Archie Costume has decent stats, and is good at attacks. Archie Costume does not have passive skills, just like the Origin card. And judging from his skills, the first thing is that the Archie Costume is counted as a damage dealer, and the impact is light. Coupled with the ability to block buffs and fast mana speed, makes Archie Costume good enough for use in attack and defense formations, but not really recommended for use in a Titan attack team, because he doesn't have the required qualifications. Jasper Costume is a legendary hero, holy element, monk class, and comes from the Springvale family. Where the Springvale family provides additional buffs in the form of attack buffs. Jasper Costume has Aether Power, namely Boosted Regen, where he will regenerate 300 boosted health over 6 turns. Judging from his basic stats, Jasper Costume has decent stats, and is quite good at defense and vitality. Jasper Costume, does not have passive skills, just like the Origin card. Judging from skills, Jasper Costume is considered a healer and buffer hero, where the HP regen it provides is quite good, and the attack buff and crit chance make him quite good in defense formations, especially in flank and tank positions. Jasper Costume is also said to be very good for use in the Titan attack team, because of its buff ability. And with his abilities, he will be very good to use in raid tournaments, especially rush attacks and buff boosters. Miss Ethel, she is a legendary hero, ice element, fighter class, and comes from the Springvale family, where this family provides additional bonuses in the form of attack buffs. Miss Ethel has Aether Power, namely Attack Up, where she will get plus 20% attack for 6 turns. Judging from this initial assessment, Miss Ethel has abilities that lean towards attack. Judging from basic stats, Miss Ethel has pretty high stats, and is good at attack and vitality. Combined with her average mana generation, Miss Ethel will be good enough to use in both offensive and defensive formations. Judging from the effects of her skills, Miss Ethel has skills that lean towards attack, where she attacks her enemies with a fairly strong impact, and also has the chance to attack random enemies. Judging from the effect of this skill, Miss Ethel is a hero who only attacks using bare force, and when compared to the new heroes currently available, Miss Ethel's skills are considered less effective in combat. Judging from her defensive abilities, Miss Ethel has average defensive abilities, and is better placed in the flank and tank positions. For the Titan attack team, Miss Ethel is not highly recommended, because her skills do not meet the required qualification standards. And in raid tournament, Miss Ethel is a hero with average abilities and is not really recommended for use in any type of tournament. Timothy, is a legendary hero, fire element, rogue class, and comes from the Springvale family, where this family provides additional bonuses in the form of attack buffs. And Timothy has Aether Power, namely Heal Increase, where he will get plus 50% increase for any healing received for 6 turns. Seen from this, Timothy's abilities are very inclined towards defense. Judging from his basic stats, Timothy has high basic stats, and is good at defense and vitality. And with his average mana generation speed, Timothy will be good enough to be used in both offensive and defensive formations. And judging from the effects of his skills, Timothy has a pretty good health boost ability, and combined with his ability to buff attacks, this makes Timothy very good for use in defensive formations, in flank or tank positions. In the Titan attack team, Timothy will also be quite useful, because of his ability to buff attacks. And in the raid tournament, Timothy will be quite good to use, especially in buff booster and rush attack. Judging from the brief discussion about the previous Springvale heroes, I can say that these heroes have combat abilities that I think are still suitable for use in everyday games, such as completing chest campaign and raid missions. However, because of the negative skill effects that affect them every time they cast a special skill, and the lack of passive skills, it makes them not very relevant to use to compete with the current meta heroes. However, based on the grading score I gave, some of them, like Jasper Costume, Timothy, and Archie Costume, are still pretty good heroes to have. 